I made a game with art drawn in MS Paint and it did not end up as I expected. This game was originally intended for the Paint Jam Game Jam. I didn't end up submitting it, but it did supply some useful guidelines. The jam's theme was Lost Friend, and so after some brainstorming, I had the idea of a game where you fly a plane around looking for your friend's crashed plane, and you ask people in hot air balloons whether they've seen it and where. I began by creating the basic flyable plane, which surprisingly actually worked. I then made the mistake of trying to actually create art for the game. The first art piece was this grass, which I tiled on the ground. You may think that it looks hideous, and you'd be right. The next art piece was this little plane art. I had to spend a while trying to export it without the white background, and I eventually just took a tool and Pixlr X to cut out the part I wanted. The next thing to do was create balloons. This part was very simple because the balloons are basically just sprites with text above them. I created a little script to allow me to customize what text they displayed, and now it was time to create art for the balloons. I created this extremely mediocre blue balloon, and I used some code to create a red variation, so now it was time to export the art. 17 hours later and I'm done cutting away the white background. There's got to be a better way to do this. So now I've added the art to the game, made the game randomly choose a color, and added a crashed red plane that says yay when you find it. Now all there is to do is create the level. I spent a while manually placing balloons and giving them text. Usually what they said was useful, but a couple of them were just jerks. I gave the completed game to Kernel Turtle for playtesting, and he hated it. And to be honest, I hated it too. The game just wasn't fun, so at this point it was obvious my original idea wasn't going to work out. I had two options, scrap the entire project or get rid of the lost friend theme and turn it into an entirely new game. Three guesses which one I chose. So now I had to choose a new game idea. The one thing I knew is that I was not creating another clicker game. After all, if you want to click something, just go click the subscribe button. Flying Zucchini and I were leaning towards a fighting game where you must defeat enemy planes, but I really just don't want to make another fighting game. I do want to keep the shooting mechanic though, because I'm interested in how that will work out with this movement system. So I settled on a simple arcade game, where balloons come from the left and move right, and you have to destroy as many as you can without running into them. First step in creating this new game was coding the balloons. I quickly made them move right, and after some tweaking, I had some great results. I also gave them collision areas so the player would stop moving and display game over text when they ran into it. Next, I had to make the world generate infinite balloons. This was a relatively simple script, but it took a while to get it to create a number of balloons that I liked. I also added invisible barriers around the world, but it looked really weird when the player hit them. More on that later. I spent some time trying to set up the shooting system, and by some time, I mean a lot of time. I coded the balloons to disappear when shot, and I made the score go up, but there was still a problem. The problem was, the balloons didn't seem to be getting hit, even when I aimed right at them. After a long time, I figured out the solution. When the player turns, I'm technically only rotating the sprite, but this means that the raycast that represents the bullet isn't turning, so it's always aiming in one direction. The simple solution was just to rotate the raycast along with the sprite. Remember earlier when I said it looked weird when the player hit the barriers? I found a fun and creative solution for that. I made this little cloud sprite that I tiled over the edges, and after spending two and a half weeks cutting away the white background, it actually worked. It makes sense as an area the plane wouldn't want to go, and it looks really nice when the balloons come out on the left side or enter the cloud on the right. Almost as nice as fancy fading text. I added some simple audio, so now all I have to do is playtest and fix bugs. Surprisingly, I didn't find any, so the game is complete. It's definitely not what I imagined at the beginning of the project, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and go follow me on Twitter so you can see even more of the stupid stuff I create. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy the video about how I fixed my broken FPS game.